is conformity Conformity is society Society is this reality hey. The faces that... So he conceived of the idea of putting the organisms into an oscillating electromagnetic field and causing them uh, to oscillate similar to the way a, a glass oscillates when it's hit with an appropriate audio tone. So he was looking for an electrical frequency that would cause the microorganism to shatter or to, to be devitalized in some sense. So what he first did was he tried the, the various wavelengths such as light, ultraviolet, infrared, he tried them all and finally he came upon a range of frequencies which is in the radio range that caused the destruction of these, in, these microorganisms and uh, the frequencies are specific to each species. We simply hunt and try, that was all we could do. We put a pure culture of the organism under a microscope and I start in and I tune this thing till I find a frequency that will destroy it. By the end of 1932, Reif had isolated a virus from cancer. He had developed a unique culturing technique to sustain it and to make it visible. He had fully explored its various physical properties and had discovered additional transitional forms of the microbe. He had transplanted it into laboratory animals, producing the disease conditions resulting in tumor growth and then he had found the mortal oscillatory rate of the virus and destroyed it with his beam ray instrument under the microscope. But one test remained. Could the beam tube kill the microorganism inside the body of a host? Reif had established annihilation of the virus in vitro, but could it be done in vivo? And further, if it killed the organism, would it cure the disease? Pleomorphists, like Reif, believe that the relationship between a germ and a disease is more complex than a simple cause and effect arrangement. As we have seen, the arrival of a microorganism in a body does not necessarily always come from an external source, but may instead be... A So with the uh, successful animal experiments that Reif conducted, uh, then Dr. Johnson convinced him that uh, they should do a trial on humans. And uh, Reif was hesitant at first, but then consented on the condition that a, a team of medical specialists would be involved. So uh, uh, with Dr. Johnson's supervision uh, and under the auspices of the University of Southern California, they formed a special research committee and uh, in 1934 they took 16 terminally ill patients and within a period of three months successfully treated all of them. So, as I say, the uh, results we've had has been very encouraging. We had a clinic in 34 in La Jolla, Dr. Milbeck Johnson, a friend of mine, that was uh, in Los Angeles while he was one of the big uh, brands of the Pacific Mutual Life Insurance Company, a motor millionaire. Incidentally, he was a medical politician, and he had the big whip. He could kind of show these boys in shape a little bit. So we had this clinic. I didn't want to go it, but he said, all right, let's go ahead. That was just shortly after Miss Ellen Scripps died out there, and he rented a whole Ellen Scripps home. We ran a clinic out there. We 
says, I want you to organize a special medical research committee under a bona fide university, which we did under the University of Southern California, Dr. Johnson. But he carried a weight there, too. And we did it. We were in the clinic. We got through. We did all the reports, photographs, before and after, this, that, and the other. At the end of the time, when we had our meeting, Los Angeles Athletic Club up there, why, this board pronounced 14 of our cases clinically cured. 14 of the 16 patients were successfully treated in the first 70 days, and the remaining two were pronounced cured by Dr. James Couch after three more weeks' treatment with Rife's Beam Ray. Dr. Couch describes his impressions. When I was told about this Dr. Roy Rife and how he had a machine out at the Scripps Institute, I went out to see about it and became very much interested in seeing the cases which he had. And the thing that brought me into it more quickly than anything was a man who had a cancer of the stomach. This was a man who staggered into a table just on the vast end of cancer. He was a bag of bones. And as he lay on the bed, Dr. Rife, Dr. Milbank Johnson said, just feel that man's stomach, Doctor. So I put my hand on his stomach, which was one solid hard mass, about just what I could cover with my hand. And it was absolutely solid. And I thought, well, nothing can be done for that. However, they gave him a treatment of the rife frequencies. And in the course of time, to my astonishment, he completely recovered. How many times and what was the extent of each treatment? Well, we used three minutes on each treatment, and uh, we found that uh, the patients we treated twice a week, we got better results than when we treated every day, simply because when we broke down, you know, devitalized this virus or organism in the tissues of the body, it gives the lymphatic system a chance to absorb it and take it up and cast it off. 